Good morning and welcome to our children's Bible talk. It's lovely to be able to talk with you this morning and my plan this morning is to do our Bible story with the help of Sarah. So Sarah and I are going to tell your Bible story and some of our animal creatures are going to help as well. Uh, so first of all we need to find Sarah don't we? I wonder where Sarah is. Shall we see if she's on the stairs? Maybe she's coming down to join us now. Let's have a a look and see what we can see on the stairs. Here we are at the stairs. Can you see Sarah? I can't see Sarah. Can you? No. There are our animal friends. We've got our penguins. We've got our duck as well. And our monkey. Um... Lots of animal friends ready to help us with the story a bit later on. Maybe Sarah is in the kitchen. Let's go and have a look in there, shall we? Sarah, are you in here? Hello, Sarah. You can call out for her as well, see if she'll come out uh, if you call her. She's not in the kitchen. Maybe she's in the garden. Let's have a look. There was a baby fox in our garden yesterday. Uh, so maybe Sarah's gone to see if the baby fox is there. Nope, she's not in the garden either. Uh, don't forget that baby foxes and adult foxes are wild animals. So don't forget not to try to approach them and play with them. Uh, you can watch them from a distance as they play, though. Well, we're back in the lounge. Is she in the lounge? Oh, I think I've spotted her. Can you see her? Have a look. She's not there, is she? Ah. Oh. I think I've found her. You see, I recognise that, that dressing gown there. Can you see it? There we are. That's Sarah's dressing gown. What is Sarah doing? It looks like she's watching TV. Or maybe she's talking to some more of our animal friends. Let's have a look. Hello, Sarah. She's been very quiet, isn't she? Let's go and see. Hold on. That's not Sarah. Look who it is. It's Parky. It's Parky the dinosaur. Uh, we met Parky on Easter Sunday, didn't we? Uh, oh, Parky, what are you doing here? You want to help with the story, do you? Ah, and here are some of his friends as well. Uh, here's Wibsy the tiger. And uh, here is Drayton the lion. They might help with some of our future Bible stories. So... There was Parky. I thought it was Sarah. And that reminds me of the man we met in our last Bible story. Uh, do you remember Jacob? He had a twin brother called Esau. And Esau was born just a few seconds before Jacob, which meant he was the older brother. That meant he was going to inherit everything and Jacob would have to serve him. Well, Jacob was a bit like Parky. He loved dressing up. He loved disguises. So like Parky disguised himself as Sarah there, well, Jacob disguised himself as his brother Esau. You might remember this from last week. And tricked his dad into giving him the inheritance and giving him the blessing. That wasn't a very good thing to do, was it? And it made Esau very angry. And so Jacob had to run away. Uh, his mum said, you need to run and you need to go to your uncle Laban. He'll look after you until your brother Esau has calmed down and you can come back. So Jacob ran and ran and ran. And he got very tired and it was very late and very dark. So eventually... Jacob went down to sleep. He slept on a rock for a pillow. 
Parky's actually using a proper pillow there on the sofa. But there he is lying down to sleep just like Jacob did. Well, as he slept, he had a dream. He dreamt that he saw a big staircase. Now, we've seen a staircase already, haven't we? Here we are. Here's our staircase. Here's all the animals on the staircase. Jacob dreamt that the staircase was going all the way up to heaven to a bright light at the top and coming up and down the staircase, not ducks and bears and monkeys and penguins, as fun as that would be, no, they were angels and they were coming up and going, uh, coming up and going down the staircase and praising God. And at the top of the staircase was God, that God wanted to speak to Jacob. And God told Jacob not to worry or be frightened, but to learn to trust him. Because God was going to give him the land where he was at that time. God was going to look after him, to bless him, uh, to make him the father of a great nation. And that God was going to bring his blessing through that nation and one of Jacob's later descendants. Well, when Jacob woke up in the morning, he used the stone he'd slept on to, to make a pillar, a pillar instead of a pillow. Uh, and he called the place Bethel, which means the house of God. And he said, I've met God here. God has encouraged me and I'm learning to trust in God. But you and me, you and I, we can learn to trust in God too. Uh, sometimes things can feel a bit scary, especially during this uh, coronavirus lockdown. Very uncertain. But God hasn't left us on our own. Uh, God hasn't forgotten about us. And he loves us and he's promised to be with us. And God never breaks his promises so we can trust him. Let's pray now. And there's lots of activities that Bob and Hannah have got ready for you this week to help you learn more about this Bible story. Lord God, we thank you that we can trust you. We thank you that you love us. We pray that you would keep us and all of our friends and our mums and dads and grandmas and granddads safe during this coronavirus. Help us with our schoolwork at home and help us to be good for our parents. But most of all, help us to trust you, to know that you love us and that you sent Jesus, your son, to save us. Amen.